Hi, Tom English, and I want to go into a little more detail with the uh, circles and chords, only because uh, I found that the students really have difficulty with these uh, more complex problems. And the key to circles and chords that uh, you want to always remember is that uh, most of the time you're going to draw a radius perpendicular to the chord, and any radius that's perpendicular to the chord is going to bisect that chord and obviously uh, form a right triangle uh, with the other radius that meet its end points. So uh, think about those right triangles that you're forming as soon as you draw that uh, perpendicular and the radiuses to the end points of the chord. In the first case here, we have two circles that have a common chord, so they intersect each other. and they're giving us the length of the common chord. Uh, they give us the length of one of the radius, uh, the, the larger circle, and then they're asking to find the radius of the uh, smaller circle. In this case, again, we draw that perpendicular that connects the two circles, uh, the centers of the two circles, and it forms a perpendicular with the chord, and they tell us that the chord is 16 inches long. And what else do we know? Well, we know the, the radius for the larger circle is 17. And what it's asking us to find is the radius of the smaller circle. Well, again, remember that, that if the uh, radius uh, to the chord, it's a perpendicular, forms a right triangle there. And the small side of this right triangle will be one half of that chord, so that's 8, 17 for the radius. So now if we find AE, that will tell us, uh, we subtract that, it tells us the length between the two centers, which is 21, so by knowing that, that will give us this other leg, which is what we need to solve this smaller right triangle. And so we've got to solve one to get the parts to the other and then finally solve the other. So uh, another thing that uh, we talked once before about the special circles, three, four, five is the most common one, uh, five, twelve, and uh, thirteen is another uh, common one on test. Well this one comes up with a third one which is eight. 15, and 17. But if you don't recognize that, you go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem. And in this case, we solve the distance between the center of the uh, large circle and the chord is then 15. Subtracting that from the length between the circles, that tells us that that uh, side is then 6. It's 21 minus 15. So now let's see what we've got. We've got a 6, 8, and we need to find the hypotenuse. 6, 8, and hopefully you see that and say, oh, that's just a multiple of the 3, 4, and 5. But if you don't see that right off the bat, use your Pythagorean theorem, and you end up with uh, the where the hypotenuse is 100, so therefore the hypotenuse, which is this radius, is 10. So we had to solve one triangle to get the leg of the other triangle, and then we solved it for the hypotenuse. Uh, this one is a little more difficult in that uh, you have to find the distance between two points only knowing their coordinates. Uh, in this case, they say circle P just touches the x-axis. Okay, the fact that it just touches the x-axis, then it gives us the coordinates for the, the center of the circle, and those coordinates is, are 15, 13. Now, if they're 15, 13, then I hope you can see that, oh, the y value is then going to be the size of the radius, isn't it? It's from the x-axis, the center is 13, the y value is 13, so 13 minus 0 
So the radius of that circle is 13. The next point it gives us is the midpoint of the chord. And the midpoint of the chord is 1916. You're saying, oh, what do we do there? Well, what, looking at this right triangle, I know it may be hard to, to view on the video, but I hope you can see that with this radius that's perpendicular, we know that this leg, we can find a dif difference because it's between the points uh, 1916 and 13, I'm sorry, 15, 13. Okay, so again, we think about the distance formula. If you remember that, that's fine. Or you say, oh no, what I've got is a right triangle, and I know this, and I know this point, and what do I have? Well, the x distance is from 19 to 15, so that says this side is 4. The y distance is from 16 down to 13, so we know this is 3. And again, I hope you see that, oh, I got a 3, 4, 5 triangle, don't I? So that tells us that this distance is 5. Now, how does that help us? Well, we now have another right triangle, and that is this side we just calculated is 5. The radius is 13. If we find the third side, then all we have to do is double it to find the length of the chord, don't we? And again, 5, 13, what's the... Another one of those triples that we talk about. And again, you ought to lock into them because it saves you a lot of time and effort on the test if you know those ahead of time. But with that, we find that this half of the chord, AQ, uh, is 12. And if that half is 12, we double it and we get 24. So. Those are two a little more difficult problems than, than we've dealt with before, but I guarantee you that's the kind of thing you're going to have. And if you don't have it on your chapter test, you're probably going to have it on, on an SAT exam uh, later on. So hopefully, again, you remember those radii that are perpendicular to the chord uh, intersect or bisect that chord. And so those will help give you the, uh, the legs of those right triangles. Thank you.